This A-frame house was listed on the Cheap Old Houses website for around $120,000 and I wanted to see what it would look like with a fresh redesign. Here are some of the obvious things that I wanted to upgrade. Since the shingled roof is the largest area of the house, we really want to pay the most attention to it. To start, I'll drop the shingles and most likely opt in for a metal roof. Something dark like grey or possibly even black. We'll also want to make some openings on the roof so that we can allow sunlight to enter certain parts of the space. This will even give us the opportunity to add in a balcony or a raised walkway if we wanted. Because of the nature of the shape of this house, this ridge is pretty much unusable space. We could take advantage of that, break the volume a bit and add a strip of clear story windows at the top. This will give me the added benefit of adding more sunlight to the interior while also making the exterior of the house a bit more interesting. Next, we could rework these overhangs here. Their main purpose is to provide shading from the eastern and western sun, which honestly is kind of useless for a few reasons. First, this is the northern facade of the house, so we will never have direct sunlight in this space, which means that you're actually dimming the light that reaches the windows. The second reason is because the porch is not spacious or interesting enough for anyone to want to spend more than a few minutes on it. But we don't want to remove the overhangs completely because that will simplify the design, therefore making it look less exciting. Instead, we could remove the core and add something like a trellis instead. This will add more light while keeping a comfortable amount of shade as well as adding more aesthetic interest to the design. The design of the windows and doors is not terrible, but it could be better. Currently, they are just standard openings that do nothing to enhance that A-frame concept. The obvious move would be to make this whole face glass, which would bring in more northern light. As for privacy, we can provide some level of reflective tint, which would also hide the second floor structure. And for some visual contrast, we could provide a round window at the second level. On the east side of the roof, it would be great to have an opening where the resident could access their very own private balcony. Additionally, we could provide a garden below and perhaps add a water feature so that they could have something of visual interest below. Additionally, we can extend the structure of the home to create a planter along the edge of the roof and provide some floor level indirect windows to bring in some indirect lighting and allow residents to see the vegetation from the inside without being bothered by the sunlight in the morning. I'll rework the driveway and the front porch to add some seating and walkable areas where the residents can use and enjoy in those cooler months of the year. I'll take this sketch and create a 3D model using Revit. Revit allows me to hone in on my ideas by allowing me to add scale and proportions to them. While I'm creating this model, I tend to get new ideas and sometimes even redevelop old ones. If we compare the sketch I made with the Revit model, you'll notice a few key differences. First is that I've added some outdoor seating just below the tree in the front yard. This will allow residents and guests to have a new way to interact with the exterior like never before. Additionally, I've added a bit more detail to that front facade. Specifically, I've reworked the door and the framing to highlight the A-frame design as well as add more contrast by adding another round window to the door. In total, that's three circles all connected by the same axis. Another small detail that I've added is the floor window across the span of the house. I've added this as a way for sunlight to enter the space while maintaining the resident's privacy as well as giving them the opportunity to enjoy the vegetation that's located on their new planter. I use a mood board as a way to liven up my models and allow me to explore things such as materials, textures, and vegetations as well as any other miscellaneous items I haven't included yet in my sketches or model. Using this mood board, I generate a palette that consists of a black metal roof, wooden textures for the inside of the volume as well as any exterior walkways, and neutral concrete tiles for the driveway as well as a general sense of what the vegetation will be. I've also selected a reference image for what I would like the trellis to look like in the openings that we've created at the overhangs. I'll take this inspirational mood board and, and combine it with my model inside of a program called Twin Motion, which allows my designs to come to life by allowing me to create photorealistic computer-generated images of my design. Tweak the lights, camera, and just like that, we have our design. So let me summarize what I did here. On the left hand side, we've added a complementing volume that serves as a balcony as well as a lookout from inside of the house. This gives the residents a vantage point toward the new landscaping that has been designed throughout. To access the balcony, I've added an angled casement window which also has the added bonus of allowing light to enter the space without compromising the limited square footage of the house. The planner below is an extension of that original A-frame concept while making it a bit more dynamic. 
On the front facade, I've added not one, but two circular windows, which are used to create contrast to the design in a fun way. I then played around with the framing around them to really make them pop and connect them back to the original design. One of my goals when redesigning this house was to add more vegetation as a way to highlight the house, but also use the house's design to highlight the vegetation. The trellises on each side add more square footage to the amount of plants in the design, while also using them as a way to create shade and visual interest on the front porch. The third and final circle, which falls on that same axis as the other two, frames a tree on the front porch as a way, again, of highlighting this piece of nature, and the new added seating below allows the residents to interact with it all. I hope you enjoyed this design, and if you want to see other similar designs, check out my Instagram page, TikTok, YouTube channel, and website.